Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here. So this is my own kitty shanty and I'm just kind of mapping in her shapes here. And I show you how to do a patched cat. Bicolor tuxedo. I've got this one 2.5 times the speed because it took me a little longer and I wanted to help you get the learning a little quicker. But I think you can still see what I'm doing here. So just kind of working on angles and shapes right now. Just kind of mapping out the drawing and getting the form the way I like it and then I'll start adding some darker lines. And I do find it a little easier to do my own cat because I just find it easier to put the personality into it. Not that I can't do that with others too, but I, I, it's so much, so much more of a mo an emotional connection when it's my own cat. Just quick lines, really focusing on unity and flow throughout the drawing. I'm just going to get a, a simple version of her markings on here, just kind of roughly. We'll start darkening things up now. And I've moved up to four times the speed now. Pay close attention to which direction the lines go and you can exaggerate them to add character. But they still got to be convincing. So I use that eye line there to place her eyes. Now I'm kind of working on the markings on her face. Just has to be a suggestion and you know a simple pattern. We don't want to get too detailed. Less is more. Come into life now, hey? It's looking like Shanty. She's a delightful baby. And there's her cute little tongue. That's what I loved about this picture was her little tongue out. We'll help it stand out a little better soon here. She's a pretty cobby cat you know I guess with the extra fur her her paws and legs look kind of blocky and chunky so I wanted to keep that look just a suggestion of some toe beans Fixing that tongue up a little because that's really a focal point in the drawing. Now we're going really fast. Eight times the speed. Get this drawing finished up quick. I love those little tufts that come out between her toes. In fact, it's because of those tufts that she actually doesn't jump up on the counter and she's the only cat that I've had that has not done that. It's because any smooth surfaces, she hits them and those are just like skis and she just slides right off. I love to hear from you, so drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or what country you live in. Just add in some wiggle lines here for her movement and character. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.